Feast to Life is made possible by IIT Travel and Tours Clever Kids Clever, Happy, Fun Texas Tamale Foodie TV Mary's Free Range Organic Chicken Kenyan Custom Grill Pizzico Balsamic Vinegar and Chef Revival. My name is Mugay Karsley and welcome to another episode of Feast Delight. Today's episode is all about weekend meals. After an exhausting week of work, school, kids and activities, we only have the weekend to spend time with our family and friends. During the weekends, I'd like to spend less time in the kitchen and more time creating memories by preparing quick and easy to make dishes that are not only healthy but very delicious. On today's episode, we're going to prepare quick and delicious meals Turkish style. I'm going to start off the show with juicy chicken burgers. Then I'm going to create a white bean and carrot sauteed in olive oil as a side dish. And then we're going to finish off with an easy to make rice pudding for dessert. All right, let's get started on our yummy and juicy chicken burgers. This is so easy to make. I've got about a pound of ground chicken here. And if you want to use ground turkey, ground beef, ground lamb, it's completely up to you. I just want to make this healthy. So I'm using chicken, um, brown chicken for this recipe. Um, I'm going to crack an egg here just so we can bind uh, our burgers and they don't fall apart on us when we're cooking them. I'm going to add a little bit of parsley. And I'm adding a little bit of mint, some onions, cumin, salt, and some cracked black pepper. I did pre-soak some stale bread uh, previously in water, so these are ready to go. I'm just gonna take the insides of it out leave the crust out and squeeze it so we can take all the water out of it and just sprinkle it into your mixture. Okay, just a little bit more. Mm, this should be very good. And that's it, and then we're gonna combine all of our ingredients by hand. I get all of the egg and everything in here. Just knead it well, punch it in. Okay, just like so. Pretty easy, huh? Okay, and we're ready. 
Okay, I'm gonna wipe my hands and then start my skillet going. Just like so. Okay, let's turn on our stove. Okay, I'm gonna melt some butter. I'd say it's about two tablespoons. And drizzle a little bit of olive oil and we're gonna let that melt. Okay, and then in the meantime, we're gonna form our burgers. Let me grab a plate. If you get if you find that it gets sticky like this in your hand, what works best is getting your hands wet. So I'm gonna get my hands a little wet. There we go. And then it just slides right off your hands. I'm giving them like an oval shape, just like so. Let's get these things out of our way. These also grill very nicely, or you can bake them in the oven, whichever you prefer. Because today is about quick and easy, healthy weekend meals, I'm just gonna quickly uh, fry them in, in uh, butter. Okay. Check on our oil. Looks like it's going well. Okay. And gently we're gonna place it down in the pan and fry each side for about a couple of minutes until it's golden brown crusty. I mean, these take nothing but maybe two minutes, three minutes to make, and then you're ready to go. It cooks very fast. Okay, while we're doing that, let me just do a couple more. These make great sandwiches too. If you have any leftovers the next day, it, you can take a pita bread, cut it open, put one of these burgers, chicken burgers in there, and then top it with a garlicky yogurt sauce. Mm, and flake uh, some mint on it. Yummy. Here we go. Let's wait for that to cook before we switch over. I'm gonna get these out of the way and I think we can get started on our bean salad. We're almost ready to turn these over. In the meantime, I'm gonna get cleaned up and then get started on our white bean and carrot side dish. All right, I've turned over my burgers. They've browned really nicely, as you can see on top. It's gonna to be, in a couple of minutes, it's gonna be done. For my bean dish, I've started to heat up some olive oil in my pan, and the olive oil is just enough to sort of coat the bottom of the pan. It's heating up nicely. And for this, I'm gonna start to saute some carrots and onions. Nice sizzle. Let's get those two in. This is so easy to make, and it's something you can actually make the day before or two days before because it's gonna be served room temperature or cold. I prefer to eat it cold um, with squirting a lot of lemon on it. Okay, we're gonna twirl it around just like so. We eat a lot of bean type dishes in Turkey. There are a variety of beans. They're served cold, they're served hot, and there are many varieties that are olive oil based that serve well as side dishes 
um, and serve great for vegetarian meals. So this is one of them. Okay, here we go. For this, I'm gonna add um, just a little bit of, um, I'd say one or two sliced garlic. We're ready to add our beans. Again, a nice sizzle. See how nice and colorful it looks? Let's toss it around a few more seconds. Let's put, season it with some salt and pepper. Drizzle some lemon juice because this dish will have a nice sort of tartness to it. And lastly, I'm gonna put just a little bit of parsley and I'm gonna leave the rest for garnish. And let's mix all this around. It smells wonderful. There's nothing that smells better than garlic and onion sauteed in olive oil, in my opinion. Amazing. Okay. That looks very good. I'm gonna add water and just a little bit of water to cover the top of the beans. Just like so, not too much. This is gonna um, cook very quickly and because we're doing easy to make weekend meals, um, I'm using uh, canned beans that are already pre-cooked. Uh, we don't wanna pre-soak our beans or anything like that. And you're welcome to do that. That's fine if you have time. But for a quick meal, canned beans work perfectly fine. Okay, I'm gonna put the lid on. And we're gonna let that cook for about 20 minutes and that should be ready to go. We're gonna wait for the water to reduce just a little bit. And the carrots will become soft and it'll change color. That's it and we're done. And it looks like our burgers are done too. Mmm, look at this. Let me get my dish here. Let me strain it here a little bit. Okay, let's strain them here in this plate. Look at that, amazing. You know, these make great appetizers as well. You don't have to form them in the shape. You can make them smaller, like round balls. Um, and then serve it with a, again, a garlicky yogurt sauce, or you can make a cocktail sauce, whatever type of sauce that you like. They make excellent appetizers or sandwich meat, anything that you like with it. Okay, very good. I'm gonna get this off the stove and I think we're ready to get started with our dessert. It looks like our beans are done. It's steaming away. It definitely is. Let's turn off the stove. And let's just stir it around a little bit. Mmm, yummy. Looks fabulous. Okay, we're gonna take, let me just put this aside here and let that cool a little bit and then we'll put it on our serving dish. Um, I'm getting ready to get started on my rice pudding now. I have uh, pre-cooked my rice by putting some water um, in a pot and adding about half a cup of rice. Depending on the number of guests you're expecting, of course you can add more rice, less rice, whatever it is. We're just making it for a small group of people here. Um, to this rice, I'm going to add milk. Just like so. And let's give it a quick stir, making sure that the rice is not stuck to the bottom. You want to make sure to um, kind of stir, you know, harshly on the bottom so any of the stuck rice can uh, be removed. Okay. This is so easy to make. We're just going to add sugar. And this is your preference as well. You can add 
as much sugar as you like if you have a sweet tooth and you want it very sweet or if you just want a little bit of sweetness um, then add a little bit of sugar okay and then our thickening agent is going to be cornstarch I can also use rice flour um, cornstarch works really well so does rice flour again it's your preference and I've also added some powdered vanilla in here. So there's a little bit of vanilla. Now you can use the liquid vanilla as well. Um, because of the color of the liquid vanilla, I think that it kind of alters the, the coloring of the whiteness of the rice pudding. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump this in here and quickly whisk. Get the remaining cornstarch out of this and that's it and let's whisk it to make sure that the cornstarch is completely melted and blended in with the rice pudding so that you don't have any lumps later on and then we're gonna quickly uh, bring this to a boil and this is a great um, dessert to make with your kids as well. You can get them to stir it for you. They're always amazed when you put in the cornstarch and how it thickens really quickly. So I know my kids love doing rice pudding with me. Let's see, it looks like it's boiling. As you can see, all the bubbles are starting to form, just like so, and we're almost ready. And how quick was that? It basically took us a couple of minutes to get this done. Okay, it's boiling and we're gonna turn it off. And set this aside to cool as well. And then we'll get started on plating our dishes. I'm gonna put that in a very pretty oval dish. Let's get these out of the way. Okay, for added color and presentation, and remember I'm all about the presentation as well. Okay. And we're gonna put some quartered lemon wedges right here on the sides for people that may want more of a lemony tartness flavor to these beans. So these are done. Look how pretty that looks. Look at all the colors and everything. We're gonna set this aside just like so and let it cool because remember we're gonna serve this cold. In fact, when it cools down completely, you can even uh, keep it in the refrigerator so it becomes cold. So it serves as a very nice side dish, almost like a salad. I'm ready to plate my chicken burgers as well as my dessert. So let's find these burgers and here they are. They're drained really well. I'm gonna use a pretty oval dish. And just using my hands, I'm gonna nicely place them right onto my platter. Like that. And for color and presentation, I'm gonna garnish them with some scallions and some tomatoes on this side. Both very rustic, roughly uh, cubed. Doesn't matter, what we wanna do is just um, add some color and, and make it uh, present really well. We're done with those, and now let's get um, our rice pudding plated. Um, I'm gonna use these small bowls. I'm gonna stir this around, it's been sitting um, around and it's cooled and that consistency is perfect. Okay, using a ladle. Okay, I'm gonna pour it right into my bowl. Oh, doesn't that look great? Mm, 
Very nice. Now you can also put these in a ramekin and um, then put it in a, a dish that's full of water and put it under the broiler for a few minutes so that the top is nice and browned. Okay. And I am going to sprinkle some cinnamon right on top, just like so. Very pretty. And how easy was that? And remember I said this is all about weekend rest, relaxation, spending more time with family and friends, less time in the kitchen. And I'm gonna do something that makes me relaxed, which is a cup of Turkish coffee. I've got my kettle right here. This is gonna be great. You know what, let me get this out of my way. Oh, I can't wait to drink this coffee. Got my Turkish cup. And let me find myself a small spoon. Using my coffee cup as a measuring cup, because I'm only gonna make one cup just for me, I just need to put in one cup of water. A nice heaping spoonful of coffee. Smells wonderful. This robust, strong, potent smell of coffee. And a spoonful of sugar. I'm gonna quickly give it a stir. Incorporating all of the coffee and the sugar with the water and I'm gonna let it boil three times. You know, Turkish coffee really represents the method in which uh, the way Turks or the Ottomans first created coffee. Um, it doesn't really represent the coffee itself, but really the method in which it is prepared. Um, the Ottomans developed it so that it's de um, prepared in a little, kettle just like this called Jezve. And then the method that we just demonstrated here by putting in the water, the coffee, the sugar represents Turkish coffee. I've traveled all over the world and asked for Turkish coffee. While the flavor varied in each of those countries, the way that it was prepared and served is exactly the way that the Ottomans developed it back in the day. Okay, looks like this is, um, I'm in my first boil right here. Oof, smells amazing. Okay, let's boil it a second time. And what this three or triple boil uh, really does is create this foam on top. And then it makes it nice and hot, which is the way it's supposed to be served, boiling hot. Okay, our last boil. Okay, turn it off. Okay. And there we have it, my Turkish coffee. I'm gonna go off, sit and enjoy this in a quiet place and relax. Wow, talk about some great weekend meals. We prepared juicy, mouth-watering chicken burgers alongside a bean dish sauteed in olive oil and infused with carrots and onions. Finish it off with a delicious rice pudding with a little bit of sprinkled cinnamon on top. And then of course, the best part of it is my Turkish coffee to enjoy for rest and relaxation. For more recipes just like these, please visit my website, www.feastdelight.com. I'm Mugay Karsley, and I look forward to seeing you next time on Feast Delight, where a delicious Turkish cuisine experience awaits.
Feast of Light is made possible by IIT Travel and Tours Clever Kids Clever, Happy, Fun Texas Tamale Foodie TV Mary's Free Range Organic Chicken Kenyan Custom Grill Pizzico Balsamic Vinegar and Chef Revival Enjoy an episode of Feast Delight with Wu Gay Carsley, a full half an hour show that will delight viewers for $24.95 plus shipping and handling. Offer made by Feast Delight.